back to my channel i'm not christos and in today's video we will be doing this glass morphism effect in photoshop and without further ado let's get into the video i i want to set my document to 16 by 9 inches um which is like the default thumbnail size so i'm going to import my image from my gallery so this is the image we'll be using for the design okay so one thing about gloss morphism you need to understand is that you are going to duplicate the background so you want it to be the same position at all times so i'm just going to align this layer to the center so this is all we have. Alright, so I'm going to create a shape. Let me lock this layer. I'm going to create a shape now. I'll go back to my shape tool and then create a shape like this. Now I also want to I also want to align it to the center. So I'm going to align this like I'm going to change the color. The color of the shape doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to see what I'm working with. Then I'm going to increase the radius of the shape. So this is all I have. So for this layer, I'm going to hold Alt and then drag this layer up to create a duplicate above. Then I'm going to right click and then create clipping mask. So what we're putting the effect on is going to be on this clipping layer. So we're going to go back to effect, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to let me increase it to the highest, and you can see the effects already. So I'm going to reduce it, and this one is okay, like this. So, this is the first step to blow the background. The second one I want to do is go back to filter, and um, I'm going to filter gallery. And then, under filter gallery, we're going to go over to glass, which is under distort. So, I want I want this um, glass moving glass morphism effect to have like a glass feel to it. So I'm going to increase the scaling and the distortion. You can also increase the smoothness if you want, but I'm just going to reduce it. I want the I want the thing to show very well. Okay, so we have this glass feel to it already. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the difference between uh, you can see the difference between uh, this with without the filter gallery. You see that it's going to be plain like this, and then with with the filter gallery effect, the glass effect. You see that it's going to have that glass effect. So we we'll just wait for it to render. Okay. So, we want to go back to this shape layer now and then right click it to open up your layer styles. So, over here, we're going to go back to inner glow. So, I'm going to choose the color white for this. And I'm going to increase the size. Going to increase the size. Then I'll go over to stroke. Stroke is going to be like this. Now you can change your settings if you want. You can change your settings. I'm just going with this. I'm going to go with white here and I'll increase the the size like this. I'm going to reduce my noise just a bit. I'll change this to overlay. overlay so I'm going to increase the size just like that now I'll go back to drop shadow because I want a drop shadow to be under this so that you see the separation so I'm going to increase the drop shadow amount to be like this and then yeah we have this glass morphism effect now I want to lock this blur layer you see that when I move it the blur is interactive. If I move it to this side, it's interacting with that side. If I move it here, 
is interacting with this side so you can see the the gaussian blur is interactive so no matter what you put on that there is going to still show like this so that's just it then you can also just put your text on top you can go back to your text too and then you write something on top like glass morphism so then you can change the colors of this of the text <coughs> yeah, I'm going to apply overlay blend with it. Oh, just apply the one that. Yeah, this one is okay. So, so that's just an easy way of creating your glass morphism effect in Photoshop. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do well to like, subscribe, and also share this video to other people and yeah i'll see you in the next video peace